Throughout our engineering degree, we have to participate in workshops, which you do quite regularly. It's a really great experience. It lets you go from the classroom, the theoretical part, to the, to the lab and test out what you've actually learned uh, throughout the, the weeks. And obviously you probably wouldn't be doing engineering unless you wanted a practical side to the degree as well. So it helps you to have a feel for what you may be doing in industry later on in life. Because so at the beginning, the demonstrator will give a brief overview of the theory that encompasses the experiment that we're looking at. They'll go over the procedure that we're going to follow and that then leads on to, to us actually conducting the experiment. You have a lab partner who you do the experiment with. You carry out the experiment over one to two lab sessions and you record the results and any observations as you go along. These values are then generally uh, presented in a table or graphs and then analysed. There's usually a small write-up at the end followed by a series of question and answers from the demonstrator to ensure that we understand the theory behind the experiment. This semester we've done mechanical braking point stress and strain. We've done fluid flow through a pipe. We've started basic electrical stuff such as fundamentals of AC circuits. We've done a bit on electronics and your OR gates, AND gates and the uh, difference between BCD codes and binary numbers, yeah, all sorts. An area for Britain material. Some of the labs are quite challenging so you do require um, assistance from the lab demonstrators and they are very helpful um, especially when you're struggling with something that you may have not yet, co not yet have covered in lectures. They are always around to assist you with the practical itself and even understanding the background theory. So it's, it's, it's really, it's a good environment to, to learn and to, to, see, to, to see the theory in practice.